Gonna be watching the mini episode Clara and the TARDIS. Let's get on with it. Where is it? My bedroom was completely missing. Stop where you put it. The TARDIS doesn't oh, like her, does he? Does she? I don't know what the TARDIS is a woman. Are you laughing? Mummy. Oh. Quite a selection. I mean, it's made of legs. That's the most legs than any living human. <laughs> okay. Not the first then. Can't wait to see your next trick. Oh. Who the hell are you? You from tomorrow night. Where's my bedroom? You think you've got problems? We've got, got a bed. Okay, it got a bit too weird now. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> What the hell? I mean, it's a mini episode, so cool, whatever. You can do whatever you want. It's gonna be fun. Cool. Does the TARDIS not like her? She mentioned it in the, uh, one of the previous episodes that she thinks the TARDIS doesn't, doesn't like her, and I feel like we've seen a bit of that here. Or maybe just, like, just trying to piss her off. Just messing with her, which is cool to see. Look, these mini episodes are proof that you don't need you don't need a big budget to tell a good story or tell a fun story. Like, a lot of these episodes that I enjoy are set in one place, and... They're really good. Like, even just, uh, I just watched the uh, Ice Warrior episode now, set in one location, and I thought it was really good. You know, you don't need to be at different locations to tell a good story. All the matters is that you just write good, you're a good writer. Yeah, and a lot of these stuff, mainly the mini episodes that are all just usually set, I think all of them are just set in the uh, TARDIS, are proof that you can tell a good story, even if it's just in one location, even if it's just like a dialogue between two characters. I think the uh, mini episodes do a good job of that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, this one was fun. Cool. Can't wait to watch more.